Okay, we had a pooch come in yesterday who had a crusty sore on the end of its ear and it had been there a very long time. Uh, we had never seen this dog before as a new client. And um, uh, the question was, what is it? What can we do about it? Well, physically, um, the last half of the ear was chubby and swollen. It was hot. It was warm to the touch. It had black, crusty things that looked like plates of dead skin on the inside, and it had flaky, dry, white flakes on the outside. And if you felt the opposite ear, it had a similar sore at the very tip of the ear, the last three, four millimeters on the opposite side. So my guess is that this dog fundamentally has trouble with its circulation, it's called vasculitis, where they don't um, circulate blood to the tips of their ears like they should. Uh, and that makes them prone to secondary infections. And I think that this, the, the one ear that was affected, had a chronic inflammatory and infectious disease going on, but probably because of poor circulation in the first place. The way to know that for sure would be to biopsy it, and they didn't want to biopsy it. Um, they had treated it symptomatically previously at another vet, and they said it improved, but it never got great. So. Um, what we're doing is we're treating it for what I think it is, which is to say we're treating it for bacterial infection, and we're also treating it like it has poor circulation to its ear tip. There is a drug called pentoxyphilin, which makes red blood cells squishy. It makes them more flexible, so it's easier for them to circulate into vessels that are narrow, where they would otherwise be blocked. And sometimes when the trouble is a vasculitis on the ear tip, this drug really helps them. So we're gonna see. And if it um, uh, improves and we're making progress, it might be that once we get the infection under control, that the pentoxyphylin will be a long-term solution for that dog. Um, if we were to do biopsies and find out that there's an autoimmune component where the body is beating up its own tissue, then there are drugs that block that immune response. But I'm not willing to use those without a diagnosis, without having the biopsy results. The other option that I talked to them about, I mean, this is really severe. You saw how bad that was. The other option, because they were looking for one answer that would solve the problem without any more trouble, would be to actually shorten the ear flap. I mean, that's dramatic, that's drastic. But that, frankly, that's the only thing that I could do that would guarantee that we would take care of this problem.